Good morning, Cornerstone family. Just one more day today to finish our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Let's finish strong right to the end of today. My name is Deacon Rich Lewis. I lead the men's ministry here at Cornerstone. On behalf of my wife, Debbie, who is the cameraman, we want to invite you out to join us for our service this morning at 9 o'clock or 1145 at cornerstonemilford.org forward slash live. My prayer for you this final day is that you will have realized three things. One, that you can pray every day. Two, that you can fast. Some of you have fasted for 21 days. And three, that you can now take the commitment that you made during this 21 days of fasting to make it a habit, a routine in your life every Wednesday as you fast on Wednesdays and join us for our Wednesday evening prayer service. Our focus on this final day is to pray for Pastor Alfred and Akiba Watts. Paul tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5 to give recognition to those who labor among you and lead you in the Lord and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Hebrews 13, 7 and 8 from the message says this, appreciate your pastoral leaders who gave you the word of God. Take a good look at the way they live and let their faithful in faithfulness instruct you as well as their truthfulness. There should be a consistency that runs through us all. For Jesus doesn't change. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, he's always totally himself. You know, we frequently quote that line, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, and apply it only to Jesus. But the context of that line is that we all, like Jesus, ought to be the same, like Christ, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. As one man who has sat for nearly 15 years under the private and public teaching of Pastor Watts and has gotten the experience of living life with Alfred D. Watts, both publicly and privately, I can attest, personally attest, that both he and Akiba are an example to both me and you. They have been and remain the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And I believe because they follow Christ, they will continue to be that example day after day, year after year. We are their legacy. As we end this fast, would you begin with me, if you're not already, to pray for Pastor Watts and Akiba every day? Would you pray with me now? Father, we thank you for the gift of Pastor Alfred and Akiba, who you have given to us as an example to imitate, which is no small responsibility. We ask you to continue to provide for and bless them, to continue to protect them and their sons from evil, and to equip them for their continued example to the body worldwide of how to live for Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.